That is the question we are answering for you today. Jamie has been in constant pain for quite some time. It's beginning to disrupt her daily life. Hey doctors, I used to be really active, but lately my knee has been bothering me a lot and it's really keeping me from doing the sports that I really like to do. It's mostly an achy pain, but if I do certain movements like twist it, then it's a really sharp pain that's really unbearable. The pain in my knee has gotten so bad that I really struggle when I walk up and down the stairs. Is there anything that I can do about it? Jamie recently went to see Dr. Stetson from the Stetson Powell Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Clinic. She wanted to find out more about her knee pain. Welcome back, first of all. Thank you, Travis. Welcome, Jamie. So first thing I want to let everyone at home know is you did x-rays and an MRI to rule out ligamentous meniscal injuries, right? That's exactly what we did, Travis. We did some standing x-rays because that's how Jamie lives her life. And the x-rays look fine. There's no abnormal alignment, no significant osteoarthritis. She had a long course of physical therapy, which also didn't relieve the pain. So the next step is to try these series of injections to get her some pain relief and get her back to her regular activities. Yeah, because cool skiing photo there. <laughs> Got to get you back on the water. So what we're going to do today is an injection of a material that may help improve her symptoms because what you found is that she's got maybe some early osteoarthritis, that's also known as chondromalacia. That's exactly it. Early osteoarthritis is called chondromalacia. In young ladies in particular, it's usually around the kneecap area. We saw that on the MRI. So the purpose of these injections is called hyaluronic acid. It's almost like a lubricant, and it nourishes the cartilage, and that will help relieve the pain and get her back to those activities that she loves to do. Okay, so first things first, you're going to inject a needle into her knee joint, and you're going to see if there's fluid you need to pull off, right? Absolutely. We do that first. We, uh, okay. of course, numb it up with Novocaine, just like you get at the dentist. And then what we'll take, try to take a little fluid off. If there's no fluid, then we just change the syringe and we eject this ampule of, of this little gel. You ready, Jamie? Sure, why not? Okay. My assistant Susie's going to help me. We've already marked the area we're going to put the uh, Novocaine. And this is a relatively new treatment for a very frustrating condition because typically we think of osteoarthritis as wear and tear and it's a downhill course. We haven't had many treatment options. This is really a new it really technology. Is. It really is, Travis, because young ladies like this, well, oftentimes what they'll do is they'll just give up their activities. And Jamie's been active in the past. She's a, such a young, lovely lady. She wants to go back to those activities. And oftentimes, unfortunately, they say, it hurts. I don't want to do it right. anymore. But there's treatment. And this is one of the treatments that we start with. And while you're doing the procedure, I'll probably ask you a few questions. So you go ahead okay. and do your job. and. And uh, Jamie, first things first, you're going to get some numbing medicine. <laughs> That's exactly. We always, we always uh, uh, mark the area we're going to uh, put the Novocaine or Lidocaine, just like you get at the dentist. And it's a very, very small needle, so there's nothing to worry about. And again, we're highly trained medical professionals. Just going to do it right here. Don't try this at home. A little bit of a stick, Jamie, just like that. And what we do, we want to numb it up real good for her. And uh, basically, it doesn't hurt going into the skin, but getting into the knee capsule hurts more. And people ask, well, my knee pain hurts on the inside. Why are you ejecting it up above the kneecap? Well, if you can imagine, the kneecap is like a capsule or a balloon. And what we do is we inject it into the spot that's the easiest place to get into. So I can tell I'm already into the knee joint. I want to numb it up real good for you. We're almost done with that part. You'll see a little bit of a bubble there. There we go. Now what we're going to do, a little bit of a bigger needle. We're going to go in, and we're going to see if we get any fluid off. One, two, three. A little bit of a stick. Okay, not so bad. A little bit. Is Doing I okay, Jamie? Yeah. So I see I get no fluid out, which is good. So when the knee is angry, it produces fluid, which is called water on the knee or an effusion. So Jamie hasn't had that, so that's great. We take this ampule of this gel-like substance, and then what we do is we just inject it into the knee like that, and we're all done. It's and basically like some WD-40 for the knee. That's a good way to look at it. It's a lubricant. And the articular cartilage, as we get older, it starts to wear down. And so this is actually the lubricant for that articular cartilage. So Jamie will get one of these a week for how long? We typically do it once a week for three weeks. And then after that, we gradually get her back to her activities, maybe restart a physical therapy program, and get her back to doing all those activities that she loves to do. Well, we wish you the best of luck. We want to see you back on the skis soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. No Stephanie. problem. Happy to do this job. Thanks, Susie.